What is up guys? Welcome back to episode three of the box we got from Rich. Now the other episode and two, we went over a bunch of NASCAR and some other heavy hitters for the loose castings. Now it looks like we're gonna be jumping into some carded ones. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Starting out with some matchbox. Look at this guys, the Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Now I had sent a purple one to Kingnut, so I don't have any Carmen Ghias left in the collection. But this one has some really nice headlight details, white interior. Coming around the back, you have the nice tail lights and the license plate, which says, fun to drive. Nice. And followed up by the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 Polizia. Now that is an awesome one right here. Nice black enamel, the matchbox five spokes that I really, really like. And then of course you do have the red, white, and blue police deco on there. Now it's interesting because it says Polizia on there, which is usually an overseas, not US version of a police car, but it says police in English. So very, very interesting. I'm not sure if I have this one. I'll go ahead and just check in the Lamborghini case. I wanna say I have it, but I might not. Let's see. Um, we got these police ones right here. We got the black, we got the premium. Um, no, it doesn't look like we have it in here. Let's go ahead and flip it around, check the other side. So yeah, definitely don't have that one. So there we go, another one we don't have in the collection. Love it, man. And followed up, we have an international card. Check that out. Very nice, let's see what it is. We got the F1 racer out of the Hot Wheels race team in black enamel this time very nice we just got this one loose out of the first episode and that nice burnt orange but here we go we have the race team livery in black of course you have their signature orange base and the oh5s all the way around with the blue chrome trim that is a very nice variation i think i have another one maybe it's still up here i want to say it is but could be wrong oh there we go so that makes number two for the collection. Knew this one looked kind of familiar, so nice. Oh dude, check this one out, man. The Canyon Carver. Now that is super cool. Out of the Hot Wheels Race City, look at that staggered setup on that street bike, man. That thing is really cool. You have the nice blue enamel with the orange and white tampos and the orange windscreen on there. And it is another police style vehicle. There we go, another international card. Nice. That thing is super cool. Next up, we have a factory sealed. Here we go, the X Racers Stalker. Check that out, man. That is cool. I definitely would have overlooked that if I didn't really look at it up close. But you do have the stock car in this nice transparent or clear body with the 72 and flames. Then of course you have the transparent five spokes in blue. That is really cool. So factory sealed, nice H case. H case from 2016. That is cool. Ooh, here we go. Look at this one, the 55 Chevy wagon. Now that is a beauty. Gotta love the red enamel with the blacked out windows. Man, that is nice. You have the canoe up top. Man, I am really digging that look though. Now that is a really nice wagon. Now if you just detailed the trim and the taillights, oh man, that thing would look really good. Nice. Here we go. Next up, we have the Bugatti Devo. Now, this is the satin charcoal finish. There is a black version, which is also satin as well. But this thing is a very, very nice casting. Not too many were found. Um, it's not like they were limited numbers, but they just weren't on the pegs as much as I thought they were going to be. But here we go. You have the really nice detail. Of course, the baby blue accents on this thing just look really, really nice. And check this out, guys. The AMG Mercedes CLK DTM first edition. Now that is a sweet casting. Check out the wide body kit on that thing. You don't have tail light tampos, but you do have the nice headlight ones at least. 
Then you have the chrome grille tied into the chrome interior and you do have the chrome 10 spokes, but that color of the charcoal metallic, man, that is nice. It's number 16 out of 2006's release. Now that is awesome. I think I only have one of the CLK DTMs and it's maroon. There we go. This one right here. So this is the red variation with the black roof and you have the OH5s on there. This is the only one I have in the collection until now. So now we have this one added and this is a super cool first edition to throw in there. All right, next up, ooh, another variation. My man threw in two. Check that out, man. This one looks good. Now it kind of hides the wide body kit being that it's black. You don't really see the lines and curves of it as much as you do on the silver metallic. But man, this black enamel with the silver hash stripes on the side, that looks really good. And oh, look at that. Got a little wing error right there. But you can see the headlights a lot better on this one. But that is a really nice variation. Same series, number 16 out of 2006. Just a color variation for the first edition. So that is awesome, man. Next up, ooh, the Nissan Z. Check that out, man. That is super clean. You have a matte gray finish with the Sheriff Deco on there. You have John Brown, really cool 004, and the chrome PR5s to kind of kind of tie off the fitment of those wheels. But look at that, man. This is a really cool 350Z. That is nice. I have never seen this one. Now, I wish they would have had at least some headlight details, maybe some some tail lights because the red would really pop on this matte gray but it's number 220 out of 2003's lineup now that is really cool all right let's see next up let's flip these three over oh here we go we have the 71 nissan skyline 2000 gtx look at that really nice metal flake silver you got the black interior headlights and turn signals are done on the front and then coming around the back you do have the 71 license plate and the tail lights are done so another really good casting so i have a variation of this one from matchbox i believe it's over here yep here we go more of a satin blue now that one is a really cool one but i'm definitely digging this silver metallic and of course, with the details on there, the 2000 GTX Skyline is just another car to have in the collection, especially if you're collecting JDM and Skylines, you have to have the 71s, man. All right, here we go. Next up, check out this beauty. We have the 70 Pontiac GTO and check out that color scheme. That is super sweet, man. You got the pink or magenta metallic with some crazy deco on there. I can't really see what it is, but it's kind of ghosted but kind of not, but you can see it right there on the card art. Man, that looks good. Purple interior, toy number FJP13. Dude, that is nice. And so here's all the cars in the lineup. You have the twin mill, the SP2, I like that casting. 84 Hearst Oldsmobile, definitely a cool one. Ooh, the 77 Plymouth Arrow. And you got the 80s Corvette, awesome. Baja Beetle, Combat Medic, the GTO, and the 63 Chevy 2. Man, that was a serious lineup right there. Dude, that is awesome. And followed up, we have the 2001 Integra GSR. There we go. Nightburner series, of course, looking super good in this yellow with the tampos for the taillights and then coming around the front. You have the headlights and I definitely dig the canards right there on the front bumper. Dude, that is nice. I don't think I have a yellow GSR. Let me check. I think we do. There we go. I think that was from one of his packages. He sent it loose. Now we have it carded. Nice, my dude. Now eventually all of my JDMs and exotics and pretty much everything aside from the Mustangs are going to be opened. So I don't know. The card art's really cool, but might be opened at some point all right next two let's flip these oh there we go nice another gallardo lp 560-4 variation with a different police deco and you have this beautiful pearlescent white check that out you can see the yellow pearl in it but you got the orange checkers with the black stripe and of course police outlined in green 
Now I'm curious on what country or what area of the states this would be. So just curious on what the location would be. Definitely digging the Lamborghini variation. Let's put those two together. That way we can have those lineups together. Here we go, the USS Vengeance. Look at that, man. That is a really cool variation. Now the latest one that came out was of the USS Enterprise and it has a really nice base similar to this, but I'm really liking the color of that, man. That black chrome look, that is awesome. It's out of the Hot Wheels City and it's an international car. Check that out digging that man look at that oh man look at this beauty oh man oh i think this is the chase car 67 camaro in gold it is definitely the chase car my dude look at that beauty oh man loving the gold finish of course you have the 50 year hot wheels for the 2018 release and this is just awesome dude look at that the black and gold series gosh you have some really cool ones in this one the roger dodger bone shaker the dart impala ranchero and the twin mule but the 67 camaro man this is a great freaking addition to my camaro lineup that is beautiful man look at the gold oh man thank you for that one man next up check this beauty out you have the 67 chevy c10 out of the hot wheels hot trucks really nice zamac right here now this is the year where they never labeled it on the package but it is a zamac if you look up the listing that raw metal finish with the red and black tampos very nice red tinted glass oh yeah that is nice man very very nice i'll put up on the screen what year this one is i believe it's 2017 or maybe it was before that where they took where it was only one year that did not list a zamac on the card or anywhere on the vehicle but it is a zamac oh man where to start oh my gosh look at these two i have to jump straight here guys look at these real rider dotson 510 oh that is sick white you got the pearl white with the 92 and of course the real riders with the red wheels and that is a sweet one look at that man you got the black roll cage on the inside no tampos for headlights or taillights but this thing is still out of the real rider series man that is awesome followed up by a Datsun 240z look at this one Oh man, that is nice. This is number three of 18. That one's four of 18. Oh man, that red enamel is gorgeous with the silver tampos like that. Oh man, you got the FGT 240 special. And then I'm really digging those flat rims in silver. I'll have on the screen what those wheels are called, but man, those are super cool on that one, man. Man, that is nice. That is a gorgeous deco on that. All right, here we go. We have two variations of the Vulture. Check this out. 2001st edition. You have one with the five spokes and the other with the PR5s. Now, this is a fantasy casting, but very streamlined. You got a nice black enamel with the orange transparent base. Look at that. They have the drive shaft and it looks like the bottom of the motor. Dude, that is sweet. That is sweet. How come they don't do that on any other casting? They throw the drive shaft on this one, but they can't do it on others. Even though it's fantasy, I'm actually really digging that. All right, next up, we have out of the off-road series, the Team Hot Wheels Corkscrew Buggy. Now, I have never seen this casting, but check out the deco on there. Got the really nice silver metallic, the Hot Wheels Flame. And you have some really wild blues, blacks. It looks like some flames in some sort. But there you go. You got the off-road wheels with the blue chrome in the back and the silver up front. Man, that is cool. Here we go. Next up, the Corvette, the 69 Racer. Dude, out of the Nightburner series? Never would have thought a Corvette would have come out of that. 
Usually they stick to the imports and a JDM, a little bit of exotics, but I've never seen a Corvette out of that. But this is one I do not have. Love the white enamel with the red and blue tampos. You got the 13 and the five spokes in chrome. Of course you have the blue interior, but man, this is a beautiful addition. Camaros and Corvettes are just really, really growing in the collection. And here we go, man, look at this. You got the beast, Cadillac One. This is what the president drives around in. I know this car is super hard to find. I believe it was re-released again. And let's see, which one is this? This is the 2015, 2016 timeframe, but I know it was released probably within the last couple years and it was very hard to find, but check that out, man. You got the Cadillac One. Man, this thing is awesome. Just knowing what it is and having this piece in the collection, totally awesome. All right, we got another motorcycle, the Scorchin Scooter. Hey, this is the one we got in a package. My man threw it in there. Here we go, it's actually collector number 240. It's that beautiful pearlescent orange. Nice, nice, man. Yeah, it's out of 2000. There we go. See, next up we have the 31 Doozy. Here we go. I think I have a couple variations of this one, but this color is beautiful. You have a nice cherry red metallic, and I'm really loving the style of this car, man. You got the luggage in the back, chrome lace wheels all the way around, and this is metal on metal. Check that out. Collector number 1097. Out of, let's see, what year is this? 98, 99? Man, that's beautiful. And then here we go. We have an awesome Chevy Bel Air 1959. This one's out of the Pride Rides. It's collector 179 out of 2003. But look at that, man. That thing is awesome. And oh, check it out. You got Foose designs on the back, bear brakes, Magnaflow. Nice. Red fin. Dude, that is super cool. God, I love stuff like this, man. All right, here we go. We got a short card of the BMW R9T Racer. Now I do have one of these, but not on a short card. So we are going to put it with the standard long card right up here. Oh, nice. My man found a bunch of shorties. Here we go. We got the Bone Shaker in gold. We do have this one. It is loose and open, but it is on a short card. Nice. Definitely digging the open tops. Next up, we have the Altered Ego. Another awesome race team car right here. Now it's out of the Hot Wheels drag strip and this thing is just a wicked design. Like, where do you sit? I know you have the huge motor right there. Oh, there it is. There's the seat. So you have the motor right behind your head. This thing is cool. I do have one hanging up. I believe it's over here. Yep, there it is right there. So we'll go ahead and uh, hang this with that one. Oh, dude, look at this. Oh, my man threw in two red editions. Oh, that Ram 1500. Dude, that is sick. Look at that Skyjacker suspension deco on there, man. That is wicked cool. Oh, man. Red chrome bead locks, dude, that is a sweet Dodge. A 2018 release too. And followed up, you have the Sandblaster, the red Borla out of the Target Red Edition. Now this is another truck that is just so cool. It is an F-150 Raptor. Um, if you look on the front, it does have the Ford right there on the front where the grill is. It doesn't have it on the card art, but it does have it on the casting. They just never licensed it as the Ford F-150. So this one is awesome for sure. I have that one, but the Ram 1500, never seen that one. And that is beautiful, man. Ah, oh, two reds. All right, let's go ahead and shift our focus and cover that. I don't want to look at that yet. Don't want to look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right, let's flip these over. Oh, dude, more red editions. The Time of Taxi, there we go, man. Oh, that is such a cool casting. And I overlooked this so many times, especially when it came out in orange. I wasn't really digging it, 
But when you really take the time to appreciate what kind of car it is, it is just super cool. You got the huge filters coming out the hood, the big front mount intercooler, the push bar, and then just no headlights. And then of course you have the fender flares, the opening door, just this thing is sweet, man. Now the other one I have that I got from Rich is, let's see, this variation. And this one's cool because you have the Asian inspired taxi Tampa right there. Then of course, this one, dude, that is wicked, man. Loving it. Let's put the reds together. Oh, check these out. Oh, dude, this color. We got to look at this one first. Look at that color, guys. Oh, that is beautiful. Now that is the type of paint I love seeing on Hot Wheels, man. That pearlescent color. You have the pink with the blue pearl. And this is the Screamliner out of the Hot Wheels Workshop. Dude, that is a beautiful casting. Oh my gosh, that's so streamlined, just elegant. Look at that. And it's an international card. Dude, nice. And followed up, he threw in another color variation, another wicked, wicked color. You have the nice black metallic with some flames, gold motor and red tinted glass. It looks like it has some red chrome wheels of some sort. I don't know if it's five spokes. Man, that looks so good. But I definitely dig that pink one. That is just nice. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, seven red editions. And he threw this one in there. Oh, my dude. Nice. We have another one. My man. But check this out. We have the Acura NSX red edition. Oh, man. I didn't know this was a red edition. I think I have this one loose. All right. No, that is the red with the black wing. This one is just all red, no black wing on there. And there we go, nice, <laughs> nice. That's what I mean guys, just look at it. You might be like, oh yeah, I have that one. I have a red one, but there's always some sort of variation between the two. And we have a red edition NSX, my man. Dude, you loaded it with reds. Next up you have the 53 Custom. Oh my gosh, that is wicked. Look at that white enamel with the red pinstripe flames, black steelies, yes. Great choice of wheel, smoke tinted hood and glass. Oh man, that is beautiful. I tell you, and I've said it before in another video, 2018 had by far the best cars in their lineup that year. Oh my gosh, look at this, the 2014 Corvette Stingray out of the Target Red Edition. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. And you got the Hot Wheels PD and the T14 right there on the back. But that red is just beautiful. Got the OH5s all the way around in chrome with the staggered fitment. Oh man, that is nice. Doesn't end there, guys. We have another red edition. It's the 77 Firebird. And check out that deco. Nice red enamel with the white tribal flames and the PR5s in chrome. Little bit of a staggered fitment, not too exaggerated, but you have the nice white interior. Ooh, that is sweet, man. All right, here we go. Next up, we have the Koenigsegg. I do have this one. I was fortunate enough to trade for some of these, but here we go. We have another red edition, beautiful one. Now this one does have the red tampo right there, the red five, making five years of red editions. I think it is so cool that they do that. I think the red edition is probably my favorite exclusive aside from the gold series. I really do like the gold series. Oh man, here we go. The Kafer Racer. Oh, that is sick, man. Look at that. What is that? Is that a paint splatter defect? I think it is, man. Look at that. The white five spokes was definitely a great choice. Ties in the striping of the Magnus Walker. Oh my gosh, man, that is gorgeous. Red additions for days, guys. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one of Ruby makes 10. Oh, it's always good to have more of these. I'm so glad I've been getting these. I traded for two of them. I got this one in, so now I have a total of four. 
I have one that stays in my collection, one that stays in my car for car shows, and then I got this one and my loose one. So nice, man. Look at that. Reds. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. What are these right here? You have the Project Speeder out of the Hot Wheels Workshop. Look at that green, man. That is, oh, I love that pearlescent green, and that is just a super cool car. We have a few variations of this. I love how it has the missing fenders. It's almost like a project build. And then you have the nice chrome MC5s with the staggered fitment, giving it a huge rake. Look at how low the front is, front end is compared to the rear. Do you have a parachute on the back? This is just a super cool fantasy hot rod. Next up, we have the Gazelle GT. Look at this, Hot Wheels showroom floor. It's a factory sealed set out of 2016. Look at that. It's a plastic body, but it has a little bit of a pearlescent orange mixed into it. Tinted canopy, PR5s and chrome. That is really cool. I've never seen one aside from either as a chase or either in like a gold or chrome or just a wild color. So it's really cool to see this in a almost factory release. That is nice. See two more right here. We have another Gazelle GT, but a recolor in blue. Love when you throw back to back variations, man. That's just super cool. And it's very convenient because you know, I'm a huge variation collector and, and color variation and I, I absolutely love that stuff oh and here we go speaking of gold we have the gold gazelle gt check it out a crazy gold finish on there with the purple tampos you do have a black and purple right there on the door but the purple five spokes with the gold walls it's very interesting very very interesting but it's out of the super chrome series it's number three out of ten. Oh, the front splitter actually lifts up Oh yeah, there we go. Never noticed that. <laughs> Never noticed that. Oh man, here we go. We got the Mark Martin and check this out, man. Beautiful card though. I'm definitely digging the retro look to it. It's the 2019 Wave 5. Oh man, that thing is super gorgeous. Definitely love the Valvolines, man. The Southern 500 winner of Darlington, South Carolina. September 5th of 93. There we go. Check that out, man. Those were the cars out of the lineup, and I love how they threw the Valvoline in that. Dude, that is sweet, man. That is awesome re-release of this. All right, here we go. Next up, we have a little double-decker. It's a two-story bus from Matchbox. Check that out. This is such a huge nod to Rapid over there in the UK. There we go. <laughs> nice. Nice little fantasy casting right there. Three more right here. We have next up is the Cadillac Sedan DeVille. We do have this one already. I believe he threw it in loose or maybe it was carded. But here we go. Number two for the Cadillac. All right. Next up, we have the 14 Porsche Cayman. Now that is beautiful. Never seen the red one. Love the black chrome five spokes on this one. And of course, headlights and taillights are done beautifully. And there we go. Last one out of the red line, 18 of 18, you have the long gone. Gosh, this thing is so heavy. So heavy, but check that out, man. Beautiful rig. You got the red line wheels, metal on metal. And I love the gold metallic with the long gone on there. That is a sweet rig right there. All right, and last up, we have a multi-pack. Here we go. Oh man, my dude did his own 10 pack and check that one out. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Got the premium 620 Datsun. Got the desert tan, the nice emerald green. The copper metallic, the orange enamel, red enamel, white with the Japanese deco. Totally digging that one. Then you got the black enamel and the sea foam green. Dude, nice, man. God, but those trucks are just beautiful. Oh, man. Dude, that is an awesome custom multi pack right there. All right, let's go ahead and move his box out of the way, actually, to make some room. All right, let's set that bad boy right there and check this out, guys. 
We are done with episode three and Rich hooked it up second to none. My dude threw in 10 red editions from multiple years. Love, love the red editions. They're probably one of my favorites, especially the Joey Logano red edition, of course, AKA Ruby, not the same year. But of course, you guys know my car is based off of that one. But you got the Kafer Racer, the Firebird, the Stingray, the 53 Chevy, the NSX, Time of Taxi, Sand Blaster, and the Ram 1500. And I didn't forget, you do have the Koenigsegg Jesco right there. Again, rich with the heat. And of course, dropping the Mark Martin car right here, which was a re-released dropped-in series out of the 2019 wave. And I think that is so cool they did that for that one. But look at that so this is one i definitely don't have i don't think because it is a modern release but we're going to go ahead and check for variations as far as the race livery goes so this is more of the old school thunderbird you got the blue oval in the front and it is not one that i have so just different variations of the thunderbird and i absolutely love getting these man there we go so this is going to be opened and put on that shelf because everything of mark martin and dale senior and all that stuff is just getting open to enjoy so awesome one right here and to top it off my man threw two premiums of the real rider set you have the 240 right here and the Datsun 510 kind of mixed into this beautiful mix the chase freaking camaro out of the 50th black and gold series got the zamac but this 10 pack right there is top notch so rich thank you so much for this stuff right here so episode two and three were just full of pure heat guys a lot of nascar heavy in episode two and a lot of red edition and just awesome castings in episode three to finish it up so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts on the amount of reds and which one of the red editions was your favorite and of course just in general what we got between the three episodes first episode being the custom from hewitt's and then of course two and three were from rich so again thank you all for all the love and support and of course until next time guys this is the mustang hunter peace